Hey guys, welcome back to my YouTube channel and today I'll be showing you how I reconstruct this orange wig and turn it into this pink, bright orange slash pink color. Today I'll be bleaching on this stand and this dome head that I got from Amazon. I will put the link for the dome head down below. First I'll start by putting this wig into sections. Putting the wig into sections helped me move faster while bleaching because if I had to sit there and part every section every time I'm ready to bleach, it will lead for me it will lead to me taking longer to bleach the hair and eventually lead to me over processing the hair. All in all, I end up having seven sections. You can use more or less depending on how fast you work and how many sections you want. From the Beauty Supply Store, I got BW2 Bleach, 30 volume developer for the back of the hair, and 40 volume developer for the front of the hair. You want the bleach to be a good consistency. You don't want it to be too thick or too thin. Too thin bleach will lead to it spreading everywhere and not being able to cover the whole head. And too thick bleach will lead to it not spreading and it might not even bleach the hair at all. So I would like to say this, I am not a professional at bleaching hair. I just have my trials and errors with bleach and I finally figured out the way to do bleach the correct way in my terms. So basically I just start by spreading it. I take a section and I just spread the bleach on there. But you have to make sure you get inside the hair as well or you will just have bleach on the, out, on the, on the perimeter of the hair instead of the inside and it will lead to an even color throughout the whole head. And this is what I mean by opening the hair up and getting the bleach throughout all of the section. Because if you just put bleach on the outside, the hair that's on the inside will not be bleached and you will be left with an uh, uneven color.
now that I have made it to the frontal part of the wig, I will be taking a smaller section to make sure I get every color. I was concerned about the hair in the back by using bigger sections, but I made sure I got every piece. But since the hair in the back is already changing colors, I have to work faster. But for me, in order for me to work faster in the front, I have to do smaller sections. So by me making smaller sections and bleaching all the hair at once, it'll be easier so I won't have to go back and double check and make sure that everything is already covered. When I know for a fact by using smaller sections, it's already covered. Anytime that you have bleach left on you, make sure you wash it off immediately or it will leave a burn. Trust me, I know from personal experience. This was the hair with the conditioner in it and I wasn't liking how the roots were pink, very pink and the hair was a different color. So I decided to get a brown dye and dye the roots so that it looks more natural. And in order for me to tint the roots brown, the only thing I did was take very small sections and grab a tinting brush that you, get, that you can get from the beauty supply store and get the dye and just simply comb it on the roots. You have to make sure you get all the way down to even where the knots are so that it doesn't look like pink thin brown. It has to be all brown so it looks natural. This is me dyeing the rest of the roots and somehow me rinsing out the dye from the roots got deleted so I don't know where it went or how it happened but this is me blow drying the hair straight after it air dried for about two hours and I love how it's like a pinkish orange color it basically just removed the dark color and left a tint to it but I love it. 
And this is the final color for the hair. If you like this, please give this a big thumbs up. And if you would also like to see me do a frontal unit install, make sure you subscribe to my channel and click the bell so you will be notified the next time I upload. Thank you so much for watching and I hope you enjoyed yourself. Bye, see you next time.